All right, here we are, starting this section of the Finger Lakes Trail. There's Charlie. <laughs> All right, and the trail leads down through here. And we're going. Two short steps down the trail, come to our first stream crossing and a nice bridge. Here we are. Just, we only walked in maybe half a mile because we don't want to go onto the property we're not supposed to. Here's our little hammock setup, all good. There's mine, and there's Charlie taking care of business for the night. Even though it's still kind of kind of light out right now, we're just getting everything squared away. Going to eat some dinner soon, but it's nice, nice old pines plantation from back in the 40s and 50s. Very nice. All right, we'll touch base when we uh, maybe get a bite to eat before we go to bed. Come on, you gotta say goodbye. We are eating some dinner. There's Charlie eating his. Got some mountain house beef stew for dinner. <clears throat> We're eating it because uh, we had a leftover from our last summer's camping trip, and hey, it's good till 2025, so we're eating it. But it is. I think it does. Where is the package here? See, it does look like beef stew in there. So anyway, that's it. Yeah, we can see we're all got our hammocks all set up, bags in there. Just did a little walk around the woods. Nothing too exciting, but. Again, enjoying dinner in the nice woods out here on the Finger Lakes Trail. Alright, maybe we'll do one last check-in before we go to bed. But if not, we'll see you tomorrow. Alright again, bye. Just got done eating dinner, went for a little walk in the woods. Heard some water and it ended up being the water running over the dam here. See the Beaver Lodge way over in that far. Oops, careful, sorry, picture. Well, you can see the lodge way over there. That thing's huge. It stands up probably six feet out of the water. But that's just kind of nice. Yeah, gotta have to forgive my uh, camera skills. Cheap, cheap track phone camera, or phone with a camera that's mediocre, but you get the picture. It's kind of nice. All right. Good, good morning. There's Charlie. We ended up just hanging our food bag over there and uh, I was a couple hundred feet away. Just kind of out of practice. And uh, I stayed out there all night long. No critters. But uh, we're just gonna, we're just kind of getting up. It's a little after seven. Or is it six? Six. Okay, it's a little after six. But we were woken up with nature's alarm clock, birds singing. I would say only 50% of us campers were happy about the uh, birds singing. But, you know, <laughs> we had, it was a good, it was a little chilly, but uh, I don't know about you, Charlie. He said he was nice and warm, but I was, I was pretty warm. Nice thing about just a shade bit cooler weather, no bugs, but we had our little nets around us and everything else, so. We were good, but we're just kind of packing up, getting stuff around. We're going to uh, maybe get a little hot chocolate going on here. Get that jet boil running. Um, but uh, that's it for now. We'll kind of check back in with you when we're uh, on the trail. All right. Bye for now. Bye. Say good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Goodbye. Okay. Don't know how much of this you can hear me because... Uh, a little waterfall is running pretty good. Uh, we walked about a mile or so already this morning and we came to this, so we didn't need a lot of water, but we decided to uh, come down here where it's running real good, easy access, and got some nice water, good clean water. Ran it through the Sawyer squeeze. You can see Charlie up on top.
up on the bridge. It's nice. All right. We'll talk with you later. At the top. Don't know how much of that you can see with the sun, but that's the top of the. What's well, above the dam, I should say. Over there. And a little kiosk over there that has information about the area. But it's kind of nice. All right, we're continuing on. All right, just kind of thought I'd give you. Try not to trip over rocks or anything. A little woods view, a little trail view of where we're going. Just like the AT, we got white blazes. So far this morning, great weather. Woods are nice today. And there's Charlie's better half. You know, the back half. Ha ha. But no. Good morning so far. Snack on a couple of Pop Tarts. And we're good so far this morning. So we'll check back with you a little bit. I'm out of the woods. And we came across this nice little pond right here. Hey, I'm thinking about buying that island. That'd be nice for a little house. Nice, nice little pond. There is. Oh, we're standing on top of a little spillway. This is all man-made. But we're standing on top of the spillway here. Kind of nice. Charlie snacking. No, I'm wiping. Okay, putting a little mosquito protection on. A little bug, a little tick, a little all that other protection on. Wiping up pretty frequently. And then uh, spillway comes out down there and heads through the woods. And we are heading that way across the top of the dam and into the woods. So, we shall catch you later on. Enjoy the day, everybody. So often along the trail, just like other ones, you have registration boxes. So, Charlie is signing us in and swatting bugs. Because as soon as you stop, you can see him buzzing around his head. And that's the trail we came from. And spin around, and that's where we're going. So, yeah, bugs are getting, we just, just can't stop hiking. That way you don't go get any bugs. See, bugs. All right, we'll check it with you later. Oh, we did pass a couple of day hikers today. A couple of ladies for their dogs. But anyway, all right, we're going to sign in and then continue on. A little a shout day. out to uh, the Bull Thistle Hikers Club out of Norwich. They're the ones who are maintaining this trail that we've been on all day. Well, yesterday afternoon and today. Pretty well done. Not a lot of junk to climb over. The trail's pretty clear. Most of the stuff is cut out of the way. So, thanks guys. I appreciate your hard work. We took a little side blue blaze trail over here to the, let's see, what has we got here? We got the Perkins Pond Lean-To Project. There you go, Perkins Pond Lean-To. So it's kind of nice. Always a good thing. Keep it, keep it clean. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look, we're not saying he's hungry, but look, he's already got his food out. But there you go, a little register on the wall. Kind of nice. But nice little spot. We're gonna take a break here, grab a snack, rest our hooves, and we'll get back to you in a little bit. Kind of came across this not too long ago. Trail follows this creek right along here. Really nice. Just saying to, to Charlie how all the times that we've been on the Finger Lake Trail, the trail the people have done a nice job laying it out. No crazy ups and downs. So, anyway, there we go. Beautiful day to be hiking a day in May. All right, see you later. Still, just following the same little creek. 
just thought it was nice. Look at that nice little waterfall down there. We just filled up when we were at the last little creek. Or else this would be a perfect water source. Nice. And the trail goes up through there. And Climbing we're up this little hill. Right in the side of the bank of the hill. Can you see that? Little nest. Got four little bright blue eggs in it. Bird just flew off. Those were two feet away from it. Kind of cool. All right, and we're heading up there. All right, About see you later. 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, the 20th. And you know what time it is? It's siesta time for Charlie. There he is. We're just going to set up our hammocks for just a few minutes. We're going to take a little break. We're literally right on the trail. Goes right through there and back down. So we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. Enjoy the day. Beautiful day. So, we'll talk to you guys Day later. two. Bye. We're all set up at camp here. Went a little farther than we anticipated, but it's uh, it's all good. That's Charlie's explosion over here. He's getting his stuff all set up for the evening. My bag blew up over here. And here. And there. And just heated up some uh, stuff. Charlie's going to have uh, lasagna, Mountain House lasagna. And uh, that's about it. So it is now, Charlie, what time is it? It is almost 7 o'clock. Good day. Couple ups that we hadn't anticipated. But, you know, it is what it is. You look good in the sleeping bag, Charlie. Thank you. All right. All right, maybe we'll do a sign off for tonight. Not sure. But uh, if not, we'll see you in the morning. Or maybe we'll see you later. All right. All right. Bye for now. I'm going to give you a little roundup of to what we did today. Where are we? Okay. Right in the center of that picture, where the line kind of makes a hard right-hand turn. Um, that's where we started, because you can't camp in this big green area, this Fresalia Wildlife Management Area, because uh, that's just the way they don't want you to camp in there. Anyway, we followed. Hey, Charlie, come here. Um, Never mind. I was going to have you point your finger, but uh, point in there. Uh, up, 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 up. Right there. On that corner. Right that corner is where we camped last night. So then we followed that trail all the way around. Hold on. Bug bit me. Okay, follow that trail all the way around there. All the way around there. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Follow it all the way up. All the way up. We That, that little lean-to right there. No, no, back down lean-to. Right there. That. What is it? Perkins Pond lean-to. That's where we kind of had a snack. Nice fingers. Okay, and then we kept going right back up all the way. All the way up until that Warner Road. Right, like that Warner Road right there. Yep. Okay, and then get rid of that page. And we walked off that page. A little note to early riser there. Walking off pages, yo. Anyway, so then we started right down there where that 23.5 is, Charlie. Over there, yep. Then we walked up through there around there's some steep grades there all right right there where his finger is now that switch back that was straight up and down and then I got a bug on my leg hold on thank you and then where am i okay that's straight that's crooked over there and then we jumped onto route 26 and then count him up here yep right about there right about where charlie's finger is is where we are now so we're just roughly doing it we did Probably about 12 and a half to 13 miles today. So, that's what that is. So, hold on, let me uh, let me turn this around. And then, no, so just that was it. Uh, Charlie's over here eating his dinner. Yummo, yummo. Got a little lasagna. Anyway, so we're just finished off. As you can see, we got our stuff all hooked up here. We're all set for the night. Um, good long day today like I said a little bit harder than or longer than we thought but uh, it was uh, it was pretty nice um, there was a couple good steep climbs don't you say Charles they were pretty good ones um, actually a couple of downhills were a little were a little rough on the old knees but uh, but I don't know it was, it was a good time took a break well, somewhere middle of the day there took about an hour long just sort of hung up the hammocks for a nice spot sunny spot and took a break so that was kind of nice but uh, that was it. That's it for tonight. 
we are uh, just going to finish up getting stuff done, picked up, and, uh, and just call it a night. So, am I on you? All right. Say good night. Good night. All right. All right, guys. We'll see you later. We'll probably talk to you in the morning. Yeah. Bye now. Day two and a half. Anyway, start at Sunday morning. We are uh, all packed up. Everything's down. Hammocks are down. Bags are packed. Everything's good to go. Um, but we are going to... Here, come over with me, son. It's special moment bonding time. <laughs> we are going to be probably going... We got three different uh, distances we're going to go before uh, we give mom a call and she picks us up. We're going to go either probably, what was it, five or eight, depending yeah, on how we feel and everything like that. So that's what we're planning on. So um, we're, like I said, we're all packed up, had a little snack. We'll stop a little ways down the trail and have a little more to eat. But uh, nice morning so far. Sun's peeking through. Kind of nice. little breeze. Keeps the bugs away. Bugs are nasty. Won't you say? Yeah. Nasty. All right. Well, we will check in later on down the trail. We'll see you guys. Bye now. Well, thank you, Bird, for sharing that. Most times, white blazes mean this is the way the trail goes. On this tree, however, it must mean to the woodpeckers, hollow the crap out of this thing. That's all. Kind of funny. Just kind of thought I'd give you a shot of the trail that we're walking on right now. Again, through some red pines, but just kind of nice. Came from there and back up in that direction. A couple little climbs this morning, not too big of ones, but some of them are a little steep, so. But it was nice. But just figured I'd give you a little quick update. Going good, beautiful day, birds singing, stinking bugs are still here. But anything, all right. Anything to say, Charles? No? no. That's his smiling face right there. All right, we'll see you guys later. Down this little path here. Kind of nice, comes into this little creek. We're gonna fill up on water. But one of the nice things about several of the street and crossings is that uh, they make little bridges. So, kind of nice. Makes it easy to get across the creek. Kind of a nice day. All right, just figured I'd show you that. Again, I'm just gonna fill up. This is gonna be our little water source, so I'm filling up here. And then continue on. We'll see you later on. Little section of the trail. Charlie's up there hiking. It's just going through the, some more of, I'm not sure if we're on state land or not, but just following this hedgerow along. Some nice flats, a little up here and there. Nice thing else is they're not crazy elevation changes. Maybe a hundred feet here, a couple hundred feet there. Nothing crazy, but it's fun. So we just took a break a few minutes ago with a little snack, filled up on water, and now we're good to go again for a while. So we'll check in a little bit. See you later. I couldn't say anything at that last little shot because that was just a little baby deer sitting probably, what would you say, three feet off the trail, if that. But anyway, we came to this spot just maybe 100 yards past where that little deer is. And it's just a nice little, nice little thing. Beautiful little creek coming down. Awesome water and, you know, refill kind of place if you need it. But it's just really pretty. Continues on down through. All right, but that was kind of neat, seeing that little that little fawn sitting right next to the trail. We just literally just stopped because Charlie had caught up to me. I walked a few little bit ahead, and he uh, we just kind of stood there for a second, and both of us kind of just looked at each other and went, oh, <laughs> and there it was. So, oh, let me pan out. Let me get my, there we go. That's better. Oh, that, look how much better that is now. Oh yeah, I'll figure out this camera thing before too long. All right, heading on out.
That way. See you later. 100 yards past that last water, and look what I almost walked on coming off this field. I stepped over just to get a nice view, and I literally almost walked on that little deer. That's twice in 200 yards. Things laying right there with its eyes open. That's a good mama somewhere teaching that little baby what to do. All right. We're out. Good, nice little view over the valley, though. Love that. See you later. What we were had back there before I almost stepped on wildlife. Good Lord, that's, that's so awesome. Two little fawns in a matter of a couple hundred yards. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. We're heading up through the woods. We'll Just kind of came out of a little bar of woods. And you can see the flies just buzzing. As soon as you stop, they buzz. But nice little view all the way over there. And the trail goes through there. Catch you later. Look at this old sucker sitting out in the field. Lucyrus Erie. Good lord, that thing's got to be 50 years old. I think it's been sitting out here for 30 of it. Anyway, this came across the skirting these fields. Skirting the fields again. Marker, we're heading that way. You see a blue blaze, or a blue blaze, listen white, to me. White, white blaze. blaze over there in the distance. And we're heading that way. All right, just thought I would show you that big old dinosaur from the 50 years ago. What, what time did you say it was, Charlie? Two? What's that? 222 right now and we just had we just came across another road here so uh nice little hardwood spot so we decided to uh take a little break it took us about three minutes to throw our tarps up and get our hammocks hung up got a little pack explosion here getting lunch ready going on charlie's over there he's having a couple uh little packets of oatmeal that's his little lunch he had a little uh you know some people put like uh brown sugar on their oatmeal not charlie he put a a foot full of leaves in his. He kicks up some leaves, so <laughs> I got in his oatmeal. But uh, I'm over here. I got me a wrap. I have uh, tuna fish with a, I put a beef stick in it there. Real, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, right? Beef stick. Jerky kind of thing. So that's in there. And I got everything here. But uh, that's it. We're going to probably, uh, I don't know, we should probably maybe get done with this. Uh, sit in here for a few minutes. Take a little break. Maybe we'll go on. The next road crossing is only about a mile away. Might go to that. Might not. We'll see how it is. We'll check with mom, see what time she can be here. But other than that, just checking in. As you can see, the road is right down there. You can see that sign on the tree. Road right there. All right. We'll check back in later. See you, everybody. All right. Just walking down the trail. And we come to this. May the wind always be at your back. Apparently, in memory of Mr. Town, who, 1947 to 1990. Nice. All right. And then, right over in the corner, here we go. A little stream crossing. Got a nice bridge. Saw this sucker coming a half a mile away with all the... That's nice. Yeah. And then... It turns not so nice because we have to climb that little knob. All right. But, as you can see, can't hold Charlie back. <laughs> All right, we'll get you later. Actually, just walking down the trail, came across that big old thing. Thing's huge. Got to be a few hundred years old. Anyway, coming down the hill. And still going down the hill past Charlie. All right. The trail goes up through these woods here. However... We are at the end of our hike. Mama is on the way down to pick us up. We're at the Dublin Road, just outside of the village of DeRider. Charlie's over there, already got his pack off. But mom will be here in just a little while. Actually, it wasn't too bad. We ended up here. We had a, uh, a 0.3 mile road walk from where we come out of the woods down there up to here. So this is, uh, this is the, end, the end point of our our hike we'll just wait for mom to come grab us so uh we'll give a wrap up when we're all done mom picks us up and everything else
So, we'll see ya. Bye.